Massive Gas Sampling System The gas sampling system installed on board the vessels is of the model Salvico SW2020. The gas sampling system consists of three units. One of the units, which is called control unit, is located in CCR. The next unit, which is called analyzing unit, is located inside the cabinet, which we will discuss a bit later. And the third unit of the system is located on the bridge, which is called the repeater unit. The purpose of the control unit is to control the electronics of the analyzing unit, which is located inside the cabinet. The system measures constantly two types of gases, the hydrocarbons and the hydrosulfate, H2S. The system itself is divided into 25 sampling points with a piping system located on deck. The 25 sampling points you can read on the following schedule from number 1 to 25. The system measures the gases inside all the ballast tanks including the forepeak and all the void spaces like upper stills. The last sampling point is located inside the cabinet. The analyzing unit of the gas sampling system is located inside the cabinet. The analyzing unit consists of two gas detectors. One is, is used for measuring the hydrogen sulfate, one is used for measuring the hydrocarbons. It also consists of a spun gas bottle with manometer and a shutoff valve. And it consists of the analyzing pump, which is constantly sucking air from the sampling points, from the piping system located on deck. The control unit consists of the keypad with the help of which you can enter different menus. The button list sampling points is used to see different functions available for each sampling point. The functions consist of previous values measured, you can disconnect the sampling point you can force the unit to measure the sampling point again or you can purge the sampling pipe using the buttons F1, F2, F3 and F4. If you want to switch between the sampling points you can use the arrows up and down. In our case the sampling point number 13, which is for water ballast tank number 6 stubborn, is disconnected because inside the ballast tank we have a water. And to avoid the damage to the unit, before filling the ballast tanks, you have to disconnect every sampling point located in the ballast tanks. The next button is the list of disconnections. If you push the button on the display, you will have all the disconnected sampling points. By means of the button F1, you can reconnect each sampling point. Additional buttons for setting up the settings for the sampling points is available at the access level number two. Additionally, on the keypad, you have the button for listing the alarms, for listing the faults, 
and the setup button to enter the menu. To enter the calibration mode of the system, first of all, we have to change the access level to number 2. To perform this operation, we have to go to setup. By arrows, we go to the menu number 1 to change the access level. We enter the password for the level number 2. and we push enter button. The access level of the system is changed to number 2 and the sampling and analyzing pump is stopped. Later on we will need to use the arrows to enter the calibration menu. So the menu number 13A is calibrate spun on a gas detector, hydrocarbons or we can later on we'll change the detector value. For spun gas calibration of the gas sampling unit we will need the gas sampling bottle which is located inside the cabinet. For the spun gas calibration, you need to open the main valve of the bottle. And open the shut off valve. You need to check the pressure on the manometer, if there is still enough spun gas inside the bottle. The spun gas bottle consists of three elements. The number one element is propane of concentration 105% which corresponds to 50% level of hydrocarbons. The next component is H2S consisting of 20 ppm inside the spangas bottle and the rest is nitrogen. When the spun gas bottle is open, we can continue with the spun calibration. First we will calibrate the spun gas on the first detector. To go to the calibration we push the continue button. Now we have the setup reading from the spun gas bottle, which is 50% level of the hydrocarbon gas. Push the continue button. The spun gas is already open, so we push the start button. Now the gas from the bottle is being readed, and uh, when the reading is stable, we can push the calibrate button to adjust the value on the detector. When you finish with this calibration, you push the exit button. The supply of the spun gas is now stopped. We push the exit button. And now we can continue with the detector number two. To change the detectors, you have to push two on the keypad. The H2S that the gas detector appears and you have to confirm by pushing the enter button. So now we have the second gas detector and we continue with spun calibration. The setting is 20 ppm according to the spun gas bottle, so we continue. The gas spun gas bottle is already open. We start the calibration. When the reading becomes stable, we can now push the calibrate button to make sure the detector is calibrated. When 
the calibration is done, we push the exit button and we push the exit button again. After the calibration is done, we have to close the valves on the spongus bottle. First we close the main valve on the bottle. And then we close the shut-off valve. When the spun gas calibration is completed, we can continue with a zero calibration of the detectors. To make the zero calibration on the gas detector, you have to go to menu number 14A. Then you select the proper gas detector and uh, when the gas bottle is closed, all the valves are shut, you push the continue bottle. Now the system using the pump sucks the fresh air on the detector and when the reading is stable, we can calibrate it by pushing the button adjust. The short message of zero calibration completed is shown. To calibrate the zero on the next gas detector, you have to press the escape button to exit this menu. To change the detector, we press button number 2 to select detector number 2 and we confirm by pushing the enter button. Now we have detector number 2 and we can continue with calibration 0 on this detector. The same procedure with the fresh air. When the reading is stable, we push the adjust button and the short message of zero calibration completed is shown. To exit the menu, we push the escape button. The calibration of the zero is completed. Adjusting the alarm settings of the gas sampling system. To adjust the alarm settings on the gas detectors, we have to enter the access level number 3. To go to the access level number 3, we have to go to the setup menu, push the button down and uh, change the access level to number 3 using the password. So the access level is changed to number 3. Using the arrows up and down, we continue to to the alarm settings on all the sampling points. The menu number 20A will show you the current gas detector and we can continue with the detector for hydrocarbons. So first of all we have the low alarm. We push continue button and we have the value of 5% level. If we want to change the, the new, level, new setting, we push the keypad for the new setting and we confirm by pushing the enter button. In our case we complete with done button. So the low alarm is set. Now we have to go with the same gas detector for the high alarm. To change the alarm level we push number we push F2 button now we have high level to confirm this we push the enter button so the current setting is high alarm level press the continue level and uh, the setting is 10% level to change this by the keypad and confirming by enter you change the setting. To change the gas detector we have to push button number 2 and confirm by enter. 
The same procedure as for the first gas detector. We continue with a low alarm first. The setting of the low alarm is 5 ppm for the detector number 2. Then we have to change the detector again. And now we will proceed with high alarm. So the high alarm setting is 15 ppm for the detector number 2 for hydrogen sulfate. To change this, we, by the keypad we change the value and confirm by enter. When we finished with setup of the settings from the control panel, we have to restart the unit and save the setup. To do this, we have to go to menu number 11, which says you restart the system and save the current setup. The system will return to level number 1, and uh, you will have to acknowledge the alarm also on the Aconis panel. So the system restarts now, then the first measurement will be inside the cabinet, and the pump starts. When the system has taken the first measurement, it's ready to be used measuring the gases from the sampling points. The alarm unit of the system consists of two gas detectors, hydro hydrocarbons and hydrogen sulfate, and the three buttons. Alarm and K button will give you the changing of the sampling points with the alarm key. The alarm mute button will mute the alarm and the alarm reset button will reset the alarm when the alarm disappears. When there is no gas detected on the sampling point. The display will show you the sampling point number and the alarm level of the detected Gas. During the normal operation of the system, and uh, even if there is a water in the ballast tanks, the shut-off valves for the air supply should be always open, because the detectors, the sampling points are with counter pressure, airflow, and to avoid the water entering the pipes, the air supply should be always open. Our vessel on the gas sampling system cabinet, you can find the following information. The guidelines for the daily handling of the unit, the alarm levels and uh, how to act if there is a water in the ballast tanks or the faulty alarms. The sampling points description, the operation manual, extract the gas detection system testing record and the schematic disposition of all the gas sampling pipes.